I rearrange the craft room again. It's still in a state of mess. But, yeah, a little rearranging happened. I don't know if I'll get it fully tidied up today because I really, really want to spin on my electric spinning wheel. So we'll see. Well, I got the craft room to a decent state. Um, I mean... <laughs> When you look at it, it doesn't look that clean, but it's a decent state. And um, what I really want to do is film some footage of me spinning um, on my new e-spinner. But um, my nails, not so much this hand, but this hand, are really beat up. And it's time, anyway, for me to do them. So it's a chore, but I'm going to sit down and do my nails first um, and then and then film but uh, I'll show you my progress on the craft room and then I'll go do my nails all right so you can see I'm set up and excited for filming here um, and you might think oh wow she put all that stuff away from that table uh, no, it's mostly sitting over here on the desk now. Um, but these are things that I need to sew. Um, like I need to hem some pants, and I think there's a button missing on this shirt or something. These are just quick little things I need to fix. Uh, this is that sweater tunic that was too big, and I think I've decided to rip it out and reuse the yarn. I don't know, it's here because I need to deal with it. Here's a bunch of socks that either need repairs. Um, oh yeah, this one's got a snag in it. I need to close up that hole. Um, this has got some holes in it. I think I need to, oh yeah, see it's wearing out here. Uh, these might just have lived their lifespan. There's a hole in the heel. <laughs> Um, but things things I need to deal with ends not woven in um, These are a new pair of socks, but I dropped a stitch so I caught it with a stitch marker And so I just need to sew it up and then I can wear them um, But yeah, there's a whole pile of socks here to just deal with um, So these are things that I just need to deal with as a part of wrapping up This calendar year would be nice Just got back from walking outside and I'm gonna sit down and do a little spinning. Finally, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Finally gonna get some spinning done. And Michael's actually helping me to hang up my thread on the wall, which is very, very nice. I bought these thread holders last, I think it was last year at this time and I, I'm just now hanging them up, so, um, yeah, so he's putting hanging hardware on them for me and helping me hang them up, so I'll show you what they look like when they're all hung up.
it's still boarding. <laughs> uh, it's Friday, December 16th, and um, we slept in a little bit this morning because we went out last night for food and drinks with a friend from work, um, and we stayed out pretty late. Didn't get home till midnight. <laughs> Um, and so we slept in this morning, which was really nice, and it was good fun to hang out, um, have good conversation, um, good drink, good food, um, and just relax. So that was fun. Um, when I got up this morning, I finished spinning one bobbin of, um, this rainbow fiber yeah that's not gonna focus <laughs> that I'm working on and um, I'm recording um, a video about this spin so you'll see that on the channel after I finish the spin and you know curate the video um, to post but uh, yeah so I finished one bobbin and I have started the second bobbin uh, and I'm using my brand new electric eel wheel nano 2 my little electric spinning wheel and i'm having lots of fun um using this i'm so happy with this purchase um i'm also happy with this fiber so i'm happy with that purchase as well um but yeah so i need to actually take a little break from spinning and i have to do um, something real quick for work so I need to do a little work thing real quick um, and then when I'm done with that I'm probably gonna come back to spinning um, I'd also like to take another walk today uh, probably outside with Marjorie and just get some sunlight and some fresh air we'll see how I feel um, I'm a little tired from staying up late last night so but I got to get my walk in. So I'll, I'll either be on the treadmill inside or outside with Marjorie. So, um, yeah, we'll see. So the first bobbin is filled with singles. And so, uh, this has 49 grams of fiber on it. And you can see that yeah, the bobbin is pretty much full. I mean, I could have squeezed more on here, but that's fine. Uh, and the colors are looking amazing in these singles. So what I've decided to do for the other ply, because I'm making a two-ply yarn, uh, I went ahead and broke off another 49 grams. So this will make up bobbin number two. 